If you feel like you can't catch a break, think again. I'm Leanne Ott, reporting for OurParents.com. If you're caring for aging parents and you just need a break, it means you're human. There are people who will step in for you. It's called respite care and it's available from many sources. For example, in-home care agencies and companions, in-home health care agencies, nursing homes and assisted living centers, and adult daycare centers. Some of those specialize in Alzheimer's and dementia care. Charities and places of worship have respite volunteers sometimes. Check with your area agency on aging. Some states also have the Lifespan Respite Program, which helps people find respite care and resources to help pay for it. For seniors who don't need as much care, Helen Bergman, a geriatric care manager in New York City, suggests trying a senior center. She also mentioned some out-of-the-box respite options like therapists, physical, speech, recreational, occupational, and readers, people who read to seniors at home. She says you can find readers through geriatric care managers, or you could get a college student to help out. Check the person out well. Don't forget friends and family. Bergman, whose New York City practice is called Elder Care Alternatives, uh, suggests creating a rotating schedule with them. You may need respite care to work, shop, exercise, or you might just relax and have some fun. Bergman says all caregivers should take respite. If a caregiver takes an hour a day and has somebody come in, then they will be more functional for the patient. It is dysfunctional when caregivers cannot share the role with either family or professionals. In our next video, we'll talk about how to choose an adult daycare center. I'm Leanne Ott, reporting for OurParents.com, where you can find respite care in New York City and nationwide.